We've come inside now to check out the Sekhmet Alabaster Factory, one of the local artisan's workshops here in Luxor, surrounded by all sorts of uh, creative, uh, incredible creations here. So I've got the uh, designer owner here, if you want to introduce yourself, and then we'll take a look at uh, some of what you have on display. Okay. Firstly, I have here the alabaster. Alabaster, this village, it's a famous for alabaster industry, okay? The alabaster is three color. White like that, if you like a check, that's good for us, not good for us, put it on the like, like that. It's, with the transparent, it's a good quality, not it's bad quality, okay? That's a white color. Look at the brown color. Brown color, you, you find the veins for the stone. That's a national veins for the stone, okay? And they have you also green color. Look at the green color. All is a section here that's a handmade alabaster fast. And these materials were all used in ancient Egypt as well. This is what they were using to yes, create their art. I bring it behind the Valley of the King, 15 kilometer after the Valley of the King. So okay. it's right, not far from where, from this area in Luxor. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Secondly, I have here uh, onyx. You know onyx? Yes. Onyx, it's 90%, it's by hand, just 10%, it's by machine. And that's a color that's a national color that's not painted. Okay? Uh, after uh, Onyx, I have a statue of alabaster. Look at the statue of alabaster, you can see. And here I have vase of basalt. Look at the vase of basalt. And you can see that's a national color of basalt. It's a gray. All the black one that's painted. So the, so the regular color is this, That's and then right. you paint it black to yes. create the design. Okay. Yeah. And here I have a canopic jars. Canopic jars is different for different head. You can see here. Before, any, everything here, put it inside. Are these designs based on like, artifacts that have been found from ancient Egypt, like in tombs and in temples and places? Yes, exactly, sir. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here, that Syria basalt also, stamp of basalt. And you can see here, that's empty. I can put it your name in English, in Arabic, hello, Reef. And you can see also that's a natural color of basalt. Here I have a granite stone. You know granite stone? Granite stone is three color, three different color, all bringing from Aswan, but working here in Luxor. All is a section here. Fantastic. This wall is very unique over here. <laughs> that's one, it's a phosphor stone. You know phosphor stone? I call it the light of the morning, cold in the dark. Just a minute, I close the light for you now. Yeah. Okay. Shower the light, but get the top off. I want to Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. I'll follow. And here I have a museum. You know me a museum? Yeah. Yes. Come. Look at this picture. That's my grand grandfather after the soul. It's first Egyptian touch to Tankamon. It's working with Carter. Okay. I have some work here from my grand grandfather. Look at the color exactly like the tombs. And this color, it's not. Easy, can take it off, put it water, put it under sun. It's not change the color. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a business that runs yes. in your family. Yes. It's many generations. Uh, and here I have a flint stone, the vase of a flint stone. You know flint stone? Flint stone. That's the best stone here in Egypt. Much hard basalt, much hard to granite. The national color for flint stone, beige like that. All that's that's painted with faience, but not easy chemical wash. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So what, what types of pieces do you put in the museum here? How do you decide what goes on display in the museum? This piece is, I put it in the museum because that's for my grand grandfather. Okay. And it's not easy to find outside. And if you take it, something from here inside, I give you a guarantee. If you find outside, come me again, take the money and the pieces for free. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you for showing us around today. Uh, this welcome. is some incredible worksmanship here. So thank you. You're welcome.